is just uh, I like uh, I feel good to make quizzes to make recording sessions yeah so fine uh, let's get back what is my main intention is just I'm welcoming you all to my YouTube channel and here I made some quiz on operators and then I wanted you all to solve this problem for every problem I'm just giving you one minute of a time you can pause the video and you can solve it okay now here is my first question in the operator first question and your time starts now in this in this I have included everything uh, all the arithmetic operators so please try to solve it I know one minute of a time will is not sufficient for you so you can just pause the video and you can try to solve but i wanted to find the answer within uh, 10 to 15 minutes you can do all at least you can try so five four three two one stop okay so we are done the first question in the C, I have included all the operators plus minus division multiplication mod operator flow division all those and even parenthesis also okay let's go with the second question here is my second question and here it is a timer and let's start the timer now this I this is mainly I tried off uh, many assignment operations so it is covering assignment plus arithmetic. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Okay. So this is it's all about my intention is you have to get a uh, good understanding about arithmetic and also assignment operation so let's go with the next question here is the next question and this is uh, mainly based based on uh, relational operator guys third question relational operator so your time starts now seconds are done now, three two one now you can stop okay uh, so this is all about what a re relational operator less than greater than less than greater than greater than uh, like less than equal to greater than equal to double equal to not equal to all these operations fine let's go with the next one yeah this is the fourth question so one line yeah this question the time i'm starting now this question mainly it is uh 
based on logical operators like we have logical and logical or even logical not operator also i used in this so uh, so that it will be a practice for you and if you know the concept you can do it easily Two, one, stop. Okay, so I guess uh, you found the answer of it. Okay, let's go with the next question. And the next question is all about uh, bitwise operators, guys. See, so your time starts now. In this, I included uh, negation and bitwise and bitwise or bitwise XOR, left shift. This is right shift and then left shift. So it is a total combination of uh, bitwise operators. If you have understanding about this, converting into bits and then performing the operations, then easily you can solve it. It's, it's about to done three two and one stop okay so i guess you have got the right answer let's go with the next one yeah your time starts now this operator is of membership operator in membership we do have in and not in and you also know that it results in a boolean value yeah Yes, either it will be a true or it will be a false if the condition is true. So in, not in, only two operators. Just to check how much you have the knowledge about this operator. And once you are done, you can also cross check this by typing the same thing in the on your uh, compiler, on your editor. Online interpreters, we do have a lot of Python editors. You can try and check. Five, four, three, two, and one, stop. So I guess you tried and you got the answer. Let's go with the next one. Your time starts now. In this, what I have done is, uh, this is a seventh operator. This is called as identity operator. In this, we have is not and is operator. Is and is not. So that and also I combined with the relational operators. Yeah. So this is the last operator, seventh operator. Uh, be careful. We're handling this. E two and then one stop okay guys i guess you are done now let's go with the eighth question now the eighth question is little big and it is a combination of all the operators guys so your time starts now so here uh, it is a combination of arithmetic 
and then we have relational and means logical double equal to means relational again here we have tuple this is or is not in is also there so it is like a mixture of all the operators so if you can able to solve this means you have a good command on a operator concept and if you know the operator these operators are going to be helpful in a these are going to be used in the if conditions looping statements functions everywhere this these concepts are helpful in the higher concepts whenever we are going to learn so please do master this operator concept thoroughly 5 4 3 2 1 enough guys if you wanted to take a more time you can just pause the video but for me it is that and then let's go with the next question and then your time starts now see uh, this what the, what was my thought is like one to seven operators we have seven operators mainly in python so on that i have given a question after that i have given a from 8 9 10 these are the combination of operators so i just wanted to give you the exposure of when the operators are combined in that case how to solve what would be their precedence what would be their uh, associativity rule so these things you have to check which one i should solve first which one later so this is what ninth question yeah so i guess you can able to solve it if not then uh, try to learn and then solve Four, three, two, one. Stop. Okay, guys. So we are done with the nine questions. Let's see what is the tenth question. And tenth question is this. And your time starts now. So, oh my God, this tenth question. I included everything, guys. So what are the things I included? Is I will tell you. All the seven operators are there. Indexing operator is there. Slicing operator is there. Everything is there in this. So if you know this, if you can able to solve this question, it means that you are good with the data type. Yeah, you are good with the operators. You are good with the indexing operator and slicing operator. So it means it is a combination of many concepts. Yeah, this tenth question is really, uh, really helpful for you if you can able to solve it manually. Yeah, we are done. Three, two, one. Okay, guys, enough. And then that's it. Now let's go with the next one. Okay, that's it, guys. Now here I have few things to say. Like students, yeah, this effort, this effort is for you. And if you find it really helpful, yeah, correct. If you find really helpful, then please do subscribe and like you know why subscribe like. I wanted to grow my own community, so I feel like it's a good feeling, you know. Uh, yeah, subscribe and like. Why like the video? It may be just a one like for you, but for me, it's your support and your love. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching.